And the ordeal has triggered memories for local shark attack survivors. We'll hear from them a little later in the bulletin. Well, football fever has gripped the city with English giants Liverpool less than an hour away from taking to the pitch in a highly anticipated exhibition match at Adelaide Oval. Warren Treadray is there and Warren, a near sellout crowd is expected tonight. Yeah, absolutely, Kate. This is amazing. 54,000 fans will be here tonight. The excitement is set to be nothing short of electric. There's already a huge buzz in the air. And as you can see, ground staff behind me have worked frantically from yesterday where they've converted the oval from a footy field to a soccer pitch. The stadium looks absolutely magnificent and really set to be part for this amazing match. And Liverpool, of course, is soccer royalty, the English giants have even the Adelaide United players pinching themselves and the fans here tonight. And it's nothing short of once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for those players have arrived and the stage is set. But as Jack Paquetta reports, it was some retired legends who stole the show earlier today. Adelaide transformed into a sea of red as thousands of Liverpool fans line up to meet their god. Robbie Fowler overwhelmed by the support from SA fans. Some lined up for more than four hours in freezing conditions just for a chance to be closer to the front. I really wanted to see uh, Robbie, so yeah, it would be a great experience just, just to meet him in person. You know, when you see people turn up like this, for us, you know, it, it just shows you what a club we've got, what a great set of supporters, and it's just an absolute privilege and, uh, and an honour to be here. Across town at West Lakes, Liverpool legends Ian Rush and Craig Johnston literally put on a clinic. The former stars giving these visually impaired children an experience they'll never forget. Yeah! Current stars spent the day resting at the team hotel. Last night they trained at Highmarsh Stadium in front of 5,000 devoted fans. The $20 admission fee donated to charity. Some young supporters snuck through security to get closer to soccer royalty. A gamble that paid off. It's fantastic, it's amazing, you know. And they are so warm, you know, and uh, you know, it's very cold, but they are really warm. <laughs> you know, and I really love it, you know, the great fans, great fans. It's amazing, they're my boyhood club. I absolutely love to, to see all the players, it's just amazing. Love it, it's a dream come true. A dream too for Adelaide United players. The Liverpool squad is worth half a billion dollars, a hundred times more than Adelaide's. You know, if you asked me 10 years ago if uh, these, these things were going to be realistic, uh, you know, I probably would have laughed at you. But it's no laughing matter for the English Giants who are expecting a tough game. We're looking forward to another test and we, we're sure we're going to get that against Adelaide. And Jack Paquetta is live outside Adelaide Oval. Jack, we're seeing red all over the city. Absolutely right, Kate. Everywhere you look out here in the Southern Plaza, there's red, red scarves, red guernseys, whether it's Liverpool or Adelaide United. And the atmosphere is absolutely electric down here. Never seen anything quite like it. And just moments ago, we saw the Liverpool fans marching from Elder Park across the footbridge over here to Adelaide Oval. They were singing, they were chanting, they were getting in the mood. And it was truly something special to see. And of course, tonight's game is going to be an amazing spectacle. The players can't wait. And you'll be able to see all the action right here on the Nine Network on Channel Go when the kickoff is at 7pm. Kate? Looks wonderful. Thank you, Jack.